Congratulations on the win, Rick. It's a weird thing because you were so dominant and you looked so good, and yet it seemed like the chatter, at least online, was that fight should have been stopped a lot sooner, and it was almost egregious that it was going on as long as it did. Were you thinking the same as you were completely annihilating him in there? Yeah, I, I did. Um, midway through the fight, definitely in the third round, I looked up at the ref, you know, and, and asked him, um, you know, hey, you know, stop the fight. Um, but he would just move just enough. But he was taking some unnecessary damage. I thought, um, you know, it's too bad. I, you know, we're in the hurting business, but I don't want to see anyone get hurt unnecessary. It definitely should have been stopped. Did he say anything to you afterwards about why he let it go on as long as he did? No, no. Okay. A lot, a lot of people agreed that it should have been stopped, and I, I thought the same. You know, I, I changed a lot of things up in this fight, and I think my movement uh, really slowed him down. That was one thing I was worried about the most was how, how much quicker he was, and I'm usually a pretty slow starter, um, but now I'm, I'm really fine to Finding my rhythm and putting things together with the new gym I'm trained with, the Team Alpha Male. Um, you know, I found a new home out there in California, and I love it. What were the big things that you really worked on that you feel that you came out looking so different? Uh, definitely my movement, uh, just constant level change in movement. Um, you know, we moved clear across the country. Uh, something I've been wanting to do ever since I started fighting. Been fighting over 11 years now, and since I was just a kid, you know, I wanted to train with Uriah Faber, and, and now I'm, you know, financially able to do that. And you know, I'm, I'm doing what I love to do, fighting in the UFC. It, this is a, a dream come true for me, so I'm very blessed. I, I believe you were the underdog coming in. Was this? Did that kind of fire you up a little bit? Oh yeah, there? yeah, heck yeah! I'm, I want to always be the underdog. I like proving people wrong. That's all right with me. And talk a little bit about uh, Team Alpha Man. What's the biggest thing that, I mean, they have such a camaraderie, they have such a team support that they seem to just boost everybody up. What's the biggest impact that you felt immediately after going to that gym? Uh, yeah, Uriah, you know, he, he created a co-op academy and everyone that comes in there, you know, we all want to get better, so we all help each other. The, the atmosphere is, is just amazing, super positive. California, you know, sunshine all the time. I'm from the Midwest, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to the winters out there. What was the, uh, the strategy coming in? What was the game plan? What were you expecting to do? And was there anything that kind of surprised you? Maybe how easy it went for you? Well, I mean, it wasn't easy preparing for it and, you know, leading up to it. My, you know, my whole career was trickles down to this one match and uh, everything, you know, leading up to it is quite a bit. And um, I really wanted to finish. Sucks I didn't get to finish. It should have been finished. Uh, you know, I hope I get a little extra check. Uh, that that would really help us. Yeah, I'm, I'm super blessed and thankful. Were um, you aware of all the hype surrounding him, especially considering his debut? There was a lot of buzz surrounding Gavin. Were you cognizant of that? And yeah, yeah, I, I watched him. Uh, you know, he's a lefty. He fought Sam Cecilia. He's a righty. It was a really good matchup for Gavin, and I I knew that righty lefty stance uh, with Gavin moving around a lot. And, and Sam Cecilia, you know, kind of sits down on his punches. It, it made him look even better. But yeah, he's super good. 10 and 0, coming into the fight. I was the underdog. I, I love that. Um, now I wish I'm always the underdog. I'm, I'm gonna prove people wrong, and I'm, I'm glad I got to shut him down. Um, you know, super respectful guy. Where do you think this places you in the division? Do you have an idea who would make sense for you next? Um. You know, I, I had my eye on a few guys, but my next opponent, I'd really like to fight uh, Andre Feely's last opponent. He had lost to Ka Calvin... Qatar. Uh, Qatar. yep. Yeah. I, I'd like to fight him, a uh, good, good boxer. Um, I thought that was a pretty close fight, and it'd be nice to get the win back for the team. So that, that's, that's who I want next. And could you just describe a little more what, what the vibe is like at Alpha Male these days? Because it seems like they've really done a great job of reinventing themselves, especially with moving to a new location. I believe there's a sponsor now where there's a bonus system involved. Sarah McMahon's there, Yair Rodriguez, the champ is there, of course. But slowly but surely, it feels like it's becoming now like a hub of not just the little guys anymore, but everyone's going Alpha Male. Oh yeah, there, there's a ton of up and covers. Um, like I said before, it's, it's like a co-op. and. And there's massage therapists that come in and donate their time. And there's a lot of people that donate their time to help uh, the athletes, up and comer guys, myself. Um, you know, it's, it's quite the academy. And super blessed to be there. <laughs>
Fu Manchu is fantastic. Right? Oh, thank you. Don't yeah. ever get rid of that. <laughs> it's my battle stash. Just for fights? Do you get rid of it when you're not fighting? Yeah, my wife doesn't like it very much, but I wish I could grow the mullet out myself, but it's a little too much. <laughs> Just go full throttle. Embrace <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, man. Embrace the Midwest. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> cool. Thank Congrats. you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations.